As the doctor strike enters its third week with no end in sight, thousands of patients continue to suffer with no recourse. Is the government simply not listening or are doctors making unreasonable demands? KTN's and Kiguta with details. When doctors went on strike early September, the furor associated with the teachers' strike arguably stole their thunder. Regardless of how legitimate their cause may be, the government seems not to be really moved by the medics' strike. It is a painful reality these patients at the Bungoma District Hospital live. Nurses say they are trying to cope with the strike, but there is only so much they can do. Right now, we are only handling emergencies, the consultants, they are there, but you see, they can't do the work which the MOs can do when they are in the wounds. The government says even though it needs the doctors to run the hospitals, the registrars or postgraduate doctors need the hospital facilities for their studies. The doctors' union demands, among other things, that the state immediately comply with the 2011 agreement to pay registrar doctors 92,000 shillings, but the government argues it is selfish. According to Medical Services Minister Anyang Nyongo, there is a a total 265 privately sponsored registrars whose upkeep is already met by their sponsors. He says self-sponsored registrars left government work before fulfilling their mandatory period of three years in service and so do not deserve the stipend colleagues still in government get. This remains a sticky point in the talks. The doctors are also demanding that the government fully implement the recommendations of the Musimi Task Force report which among other things suggested the installation of new equipment in district hospitals. The Musimi report called for a significant injection of money into the health sector over a period of three years to revitalize a dilapidated health infrastructure. The task force noted that over half of all public facilities have old and dilapidated infrastructure, meaning patients are susceptible to misdiagnosis. In addition, a significant number of the hospitals do not conform to current norms and standards. Take the Kapenguria District Hospital for instance, a picture of the sad state of affairs. Medics here lament the inability to work owing to deplorable conditions. Is there a need to urgently inject billions of shillings into Kenya's healthcare system to ensure that more Kenyans can get access to quality healthcare? Absolutely. But are all KMPDU's demands reasonable? That may be for you to judge, but one thing is for sure, the most needy of Kenyans remain at the mercy of a strike that is taking far too long to resolve. Reporting for KTN in Nairobi, I'm Anne Kiguta.